<laughs> we starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. Um, I, I want to just start off by saying you are so like lacking self-awareness. Like when you when you give such a lackluster performance and then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance, pause. You don't have the right to tell me what I should like or to tell Cam what he should like. That's that's not your place. Like art is subjective, right? So if art is subjective and I don't like something, you you can't really get mad at us because we don't like something. And you're standing there with two, I mean, two Hall of Fame boxers that are constantly letting their hands go. So I think is is crazy that Andre Ward let his hands go. Terrence Crawford definitely let his hands go. And then you walk out with these boxes and you don't tell the next guy to let his hands go. This is this is a, a lapse of judgment. And I'm going to tell you another thing. When you're dealing with older people, they're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas. Like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We're not your little niggas. Like for real, all that big homie stuff, that's for little niggas. Little niggas have big homies. We're not little niggas. So we don't even respect big homies. I know killer doesn't. And for me, I never respected niggas in the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Niggas would tell me, Mace, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like, I want to respect you, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I got a little, like, the dudes that raised me, if I was out of pocket, they would tell me I'm out of pocket. They wouldn't let me put them on a crash out mission. They would say, yo, Mace, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Around here. We don't send niggas to do nothing for us. We don't pay niggas to handle our problems. Mm -hmm. You got to put in your own work around here, little man. That's what you were supposed to tell them. You can't go out here and talk crazy and then send me on a mission. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is where the game got messed up. When young niggas started sending old niggas out. And just because this little ignorant nigga got a few dollars, he make all of you that's supposed to be real run after his mission. Mm. This is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street nigga, <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. I'm telling you this. And I, I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I stand by this message. Let me explain something to you, bro. May said it exactly. Like you 60, nigga. You 60. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro, I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you line um, young boy NBA up, why the fuck you got Shakur with you? And this is why he acting like that. This is exactly why he acting like that. Uh, talking about you got young boy NBA umbrellas and his keys to score. Young boy NBA told y'all niggas eat a dick. This is what he said. This is what young boy NBA said. Wack 100 was the most disrespectful. Wow, disrespectful. I ain't even gonna repeat the shit Wack 100 said. Mad disrespectful. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard. This is the first time Drake got to some shit and I ain't hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us what we can and cannot say, my nigga? Control your nigga. Control that nigga. Ain't nobody gonna tell a nigga Get the strap and then we gonna sit there and be like, hey, hey, I think we we should shut up. Nah, nigga. This ain't no, this is not 1982, bro. You cannot sit here and tell niggas get the strap and then niggas be quiet. Nobody know that part because I should just be going viral. You bugging. You bugging, James. You bugging, my nigga. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know what bet you talking about or all that other slang then. Bet it, whatever bet you talking about, bet it. I don't know what's Betty. <laughs> Betty. You wanna, you wanna Betty, Betty? I don't know what's Betty. Before we even move on from this, I got to ask, do you guys feel like there's a beef? Because there's literally a full on article, even from Billboard talking about, you know, the Shakur versus Mason Cameron beef explain, giving timeline and timestamps and posts. Do you guys even feel like there's a beef or you guys really feel like it was never that big of a deal? <laughs> 
No, I don't think it was a beef at all. I, I think we, we, we're going to continue to do exactly what we do. Before we slow down, we're going to pick up the speed. We're definitely not slowing down for nobody. Anything come across this desk, we are responsible to tell the truth and to tell it exactly the way it is. We're not going to ever sugarcoat something for anybody that comes across this platform. And <coughs> so make sure when your sports come across us, that it comes across us the way you want it to be heard. Because when we see a fight, we have to call it the way we call it. When we see basketball, we got to call it the way we call it. And we're not changing for nobody. That's what makes us different.